The Wake County Public Health Department's Communicable Disease Division is tasked with developing policy and procedures designed to address best practices in dealing with outbreaks of various types of infectious diseases in the Wake County community. Joining us to talk about this important issue is Sue Lynn Ledford, the Public Health Director, and Alexis Wyatt, social worker with the county's Communicable Disease Program. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having us. What are considered communicable diseases and what impact can they have on our communities? Communicable diseases are primarily caused by agents that are viruses, bacteria, other things that are in the environment and can cause serious health conditions. We monitor in Wake County, along with all other public health departments across the state, over 70 mandatory reportable diseases. That includes an array of diseases. There are a lot of things that we cover. We cover everything from uh, measles and mumps and pertussis to Ebola potential, uh, MERS, and even like our uh, communicable STDs, sexually transmitted diseases. Now, how are these diseases reported to county staff? Okay, we have, this state has a very good mechanism for us to report. Uh, we have a system where we do surveillance and law requires, actually, general statute requires that all private providers that diagnose or are uh, suspicious that there is a case of any of these 70 plus diseases that they report that to us at the Public Health Division. So what we do with that is we incorporate that into our surveillance. We then uh, have an electronic disease surveillance system that that information is put into, sent to the state, and the state then compiles for the CDC, Center for Disease Control. What are some of the factors that would require staff to implement more aggressive responses to a particular outbreak? So really that depends upon what the disease is. Um, for some diseases, you know, we see several hundred cases a year, sometimes thousands of cases. So that's where the baseline surveillance comes in. We know what the norm is for that. And if it starts bumping above that norm, then we start paying particular attention and do real-time surveillance. But there are some diseases that one case would be significant. And some of the ones I mentioned earlier, Ebola, obviously, MERS, any of those types of measles would be significant. And so we would immediately respond to those types of uh, communicable diseases. One of the recent uh, concerns that we have related to an increase in disease, communal disease is syphilis. And syphilis is right now, we have the highest number of cases in over 20 years. It's a significant increase. Um, part of our team that helps us to work, we have a whole array of specialists, our communal disease nurses and our disease intervention specialists are especially important to us in, in relationship to the syphilis outbreak. Alexis, what are some of the factors that's caused an uptake in the number of reported syphilis cases in this county? Multiple factors influence the increase in syphilis um, cases. Some of those factors are biological. Oftentimes, signs and symptoms of STDs go unnoticed, especially in women, um, and syphilis especially in its primary and most infectious stages, um, the, the sign and symptom, initial sign and symptom is painless and it goes away without treatment. And so oftentimes people don't know that they need to seek medical care. Uh, what's being done to address this public health issue? And what should citizens do if they suspect that they or someone they know may be infected? Wake County is taking a multi-pronged approach currently to addressing this public health issue. We have increased syphilis screening in multiple locations, the Wake County Public Health Clinics, the regional centers in Zebulon, Wake Forest, and Fuquay Verena. 
will be increasing their testing and diagnosing capabilities. And Sulin can talk about kind of more of the broad approach as to how we're, we're addressing this issue here in Wake County. Thank you, Alexis. As Alexis mentioned, this is a multi-pronged approach because there are so many factors that contribute to this outbreak. So we're attempting to make sure that all of our providers are fully informed. They know to be uh, monitoring for this. We have a provider alert that we have on our web page. Anyone that is interested can sign up for that. We also have mechanisms that we have uh, set up in place in each of the regional centers, as Alexis alluded to. We're doing training for our staff. We're doing training for the community. We're doing increased testing in the community. And we're doing things such as this today, where we are trying to make sure the media and other information portals have needed information to make people more aware. It's easy to think that you might have something else. Syphilis is called the great imitator. So many of the symptoms can mimic other diseases. So, for example, if someone has a rash on their hand, their feet, it might, they might go to a dermatologist for that. But when you, when you understand that some of the classic symptoms of syphilis would be similar to that, we, we need to make people aware that those are classic symptoms. We also know that anytime someone has ulcers or sores, um, that's, that's a big issue also. And those are kinds of symptoms that people might not register as being syphilis. They may not know that they came in contact. So we're trying to make sure this approach is very uh, expansive and we're working with multiple partners in our community. It's not just Wake County. There are a lot of people that are working with us on this. And final question, how can citizens find out more information uh, about what was discussed today? Well, there, of course, is a link on our wakegov.com. So we encourage people, they can go to the Human Services Department there and Public Health has a link. So they're, they're welcome to uh, go there to find information. If they have specific concerns that are particular to them and they feel like they're not sure what to do, they can call our 919-212-7000. That call center can link people to the appropriate communicable disease team and we will make sure that they are linked with um, for testing and potentially treatment if they need it. Okay. Sue Lynn Ledford, Wake County Public Health Director, Alexis Wyatt, social worker with the Communicable Disease Division with Wake County. Thank you so much for being here. Thank, Thank you. you.